Have you ever wondered how to find time to declutter your house? I will tell you a secret that has helped me over the years. Get over the time wasters. Now, I'm not saying go cold turkey, but even cutting back or cutting out one area can be very helpful. In my experience, I've done this in the form of both detoxes and declutters, and they both work really well, possibly with a little bit of a different outcome. So let's start with that. If you do a digital declutter, even if you focus on decluttering for a certain period of time or a little bit every so often, it inevitably will free up time past the end of your focus because you get rid of the stuff you are decluttering. If you do a digital detox, the focus is breaking a habitual pattern that you have likely found to be a bit of an addiction, which is often considered for a certain period of time that may or may not continue after the detox period. Usually, if it comes back, it's at a reduced amount for at least a while. As an example, Nourishing Minimalism put out a challenge in May of 2021 to give up all social media for a month, which I was like, there's no way. I am trying to work on my YouTube channel. <laughs> um, but I did give up Facebook, the main thing, not the messenger, and Instagram. And since that wouldn't have really been a huge challenge, I decided that I should really cut back on YouTube. It was stressing me out a bit. Instead of avoiding YouTube, I started decluttering YouTube. If you want to see a video about that, I did make one explaining how I decluttered my YouTube subscriptions down from about 3,000 to I think I was at 100 when I made that video. But I am currently at less than 50 on each of the channels I watch on YouTube. Not the channels I watch. Like, I use two different channels, and they each have less than 50 subscriptions. Just clarifying. <laughs> um, one thing I will suggest if you do a phone declutter, like I'm doing today, is to set up a reminder to zhuzh that area of your life at least once a month so that you don't completely backslide when you get done. Every Thursday, I put eyes on my YouTube subscriptions and consider if I have been overwhelmed by my YouTube in the previous week. If I have, I probably clear out a few more subscriptions. <laughs> Aside from social media, other time wasters that many people have are email, phone apps, or just having to sift through a bunch of stuff that you don't use on your devices. For this Tiny Tidy Tuesday, I am focusing on my phones. My back is unhappy, so I'm not moving around a whole lot because I woke up feeling like there is a knife in my spine. Um, but maybe that's when most people would just turn on TV, but I don't own one of those, so I just watch stuff online. So, ta-da! You guys get a phone declutter instead of a garden weed declutter. Anyhow, when I start having warnings that I'm running out of space, I do a couple of things. If you want to try this out, pick your boundaries. <laughs> boundaries are good. Are you going to declutter a specific thing like photos or a specific device like decluttering my phone or my PC? Now, depending on your storage, you might be able to avoid some of this completely by storing everything in the cloud instead of on your laptop. I have a few downloads. That's it. Um, not to say you don't need to declutter the cloud storage occasionally, <laughs> but that's a project for another day. On my phones, you can pull up settings and go to the storage settings, and typically somewhere there is a cleanup option that will suggest things to delete or clean up. This is typically stuff like clearing caches, deleting duplicates, apps that you haven't used in a long time. As I scroll through the app listing, I will also take the time to Google any apps that I don't off the top of my head know what they are. Sometimes they are installers or things used to upkeep a certain company's apps, like Facebook has one of these. But sometimes they are unneeded and can be used to mine information about what you do on your phones. 
which can open you up to scams or malware that kill the phone or lead to identity issues and the like down the road. After I take care of those areas, I will typically delete any old drafts that I no longer need and clear the cache on my video editing software and then go into the gallery or Google Photos, which my phone backs up to and start clearing those out if I have extra time. I often like to use the search function and pick one of the categories, like maybe screenshots or documents or videos, because one of the ways I take notes on something is to screenshot it or take a picture. Depending on your email server, you may be able to declutter from your mobile device, but sometimes a copy is retained on the server so that that will need to be done on the computer. Other times it is set to fully delete if you delete it on your phone, I was recently told that cleaning photos on your phone that are backed up to Google is kind of similar and it doesn't clean them up everywhere, but I haven't actually done a full comparison on that to tell yet. I'm sure I will get to it at some point in here on the Photo Club Fridays, but a quick search just now says that some of the screenshots I've decluttered on my phone were removed from the backups, but others possibly weren't. And I'm not sure why either of those would have been different. If you are a creator, do be aware that most editing software buries at least three copies of files. So you might need to dig a bit because a lot of them don't seem to have a clear cache option. I do hope I have given you guys some ideas on how to declutter your phone or to declutter your PC. And while I have no experience with Apple products... I'm sure decluttering an iPhone or a Mac is conceptually similar, even if where you go to find things, they aren't in the same place. (laughs) Now, I am doing this as part of Tiny Tidy Tuesday. That is an open playlist collab run by Sunday Dawn over at the Helpful Home. If you are interested in joining us, feel free to declutter with me and the other ladies Or if you would like to join us in making videos while you declutter or clean or whatever you're wanting to do, um, feel free to drop a comment down below and let me know so I can get you in touch with Sunday Dawn or go over to her channel, The Helpful Home, and she will definitely work with you to get you on the playlist for this week or next week or whenever you put out your video. Maybe another thing to think about as you are clearing out old files and freeing up space is if you can keep anything from coming back. If you are clearing out your email, I find sorting by sender and clearing out large sections at a time to be helpful. And if I'm not opening those emails, it might be beneficial to open one and unsubscribe from it. Or maybe you can set up a rule to send all of your receipts to a certain folder instead of your inbox if you don't need to reference those. Each of these things might seem small and like they wouldn't save you any time, but if you can get 10 emails a day instead of 100, it takes less time to glance through and take action or deal with the important ones. And it is easier to add the others to your calendar or determine if you don't need whatever it is and move it to the trash can. Likewise, having cleared up space during a regular tiny tidy might be able to save you some time while trying to render a video when you are out of space and then have to uninstall and reinstall apps. If you have watched this far, please let me know in the comments down below what you want to do with the extra moments you regain from cleaning up your digital footprint, and decluttering your devices. Remember to turn off notifications on any non-essential apps as well, 
and maybe consider turning on notifications for this channel if you choose to subscribe and haven't yet. <laughs> um, but this will help you stay more focused. The turning off notifications, not turning them on. It will help you stay more focused on things in your life that you want to focus on. Put down the phone. You know where to go. Get back on the road. Yeah, it's so Maybe you are not as tied into the tech in your life as much as I am, but for me, tech keeps me on track. But I want to be in control of my tech. Have a great week, you guys, and remember, a few minutes at a time add up to a big change over your lifetime.